So for this example, we are going to talk about one of the popular applications of Voronoi diagrams called the nearest neighbor interpolation. So this coordinate plane shows the Voronoi diagram of the post offices A, B and C. So we are given that the coordinates of the post office A will be 3, 3 and B will be 7, 3 and C will be 7, 9. And also from the given condition, one unit from the coordinate plane represents one kilometers. So in part A, we are required to write down the area of the Voronoi cell of the post office B. So we can try to consider the region of the post office B. And obviously, this is a rectangle with the height 6 and the base length 5. And in part A, actually, we are required to find the area of this rectangle. So in this situation, we may consider using the base length times the height, which would be 5 times 6, that would be 30 kilometers square. And then in part B1, we are required to find the coordinates of the midpoint of AC. And then later in the part B2, we are going to use the result of the part B1 to find the perpendicular distance between the point C and the perpendicular bisector of AC. So as from the given diagram, it's easy for us to obtain the coordinates of the point A and the point C, which are 3, 3 and 7, 9 respectively. And then we can also assign the values of x1, y1 to be the coordinates of A and then x2, y2 to be the coordinates of C. And for this part, we are required to find the coordinates of the midpoint of AC. Then we can try to use this midpoint formula, which would be available from the formula book as well. That is, x1 plus x2 and then over 2 would be the new x coordinate of the midpoint. And similarly, the average of y1 and y2 would be the new y coordinate of the midpoint of AC. Then by using the similar substitution, we may have 3 plus 7 over 2. And also 3 plus 9 over 2. And then it becomes 10 over 2 and 12 over 2. And the result will be 5 and 6. And then in part B2, we are going to use the previous result to find the perpendicular distance from the point C to the perpendicular bisector. So let's consider the definition of a perpendicular bisector. In this situation, the perpendicular bisector of AC must be a straight line perpendicular to the line joining A and C and also it must pass through the midpoint of AC. Then in this situation, when we are going to look at the distance between the point C and also the perpendicular bisector of AC, we can try to consider the distance between the point C and the midpoint 5, 6. So in this situation, as we already have the two required points, that is the point C, 7, 9, and also the midpoint of AC, 5 and 6 we can try to assign the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2. And then we can try to consider the use of the distance formula, that is d equals to the square root of the sum of the squares of x2 minus x1 and also y2 minus y1. So we can try to perform the substitution, replace x2 by 7, replace x1 by 5, and similarly, replace y2 by 9 and replace y1 by 6. So we will have 3.60555127.5 to be the long terminating decimal and actually that would be equal to the square root of 13. If we wish to use the rounding, then we may have to look at the position of the third significant figure, which would be 0. And then consider the next digit, 5. Then we may have to add 1 on the digit 0, so the result will be 3.61 kilometers. For part C, Clara would like to find the post office which would be nearest to her home to send a parcel. And the position of her home would be given by the coordinates 1 and 8. And then we have to state which post office would be the best choice for her. So what does it mean by the best choice that would be considering the distance from a particular post office to her home? We are going to consider the post office which would be closest to her home. And then we can try to consider the use of the nearest neighbor interpolation. That is, we can consider which Voronoi cell does her home belong. Then in this situation, the coordinates of her home will be 1, 8. 
and then we can try to consider the diagram. So we can see that her home lies inside the furnace cell of the post office A. This implies that comparing all the post offices A, B, and C, the post office A would be the one which would be closest to her home. Therefore, by using the nearest neighbor interpolation, the best option would be the post office A.